Welcome back guys, Massive Dynamic here again with another train signal tutorial. This one we're going to do two-way single lane track. Once again, I'm going to try to make this one brief and not make any mistakes this time. So please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Here we have our base represented here with three stations inbound. We have an oil outpost and we have two ex exterior outposts there. Okay, so typically uh, a new player will send one train on one track and without signals it will run just fine. You don't need signals if you only have one train on the track. Signals are for governing traffic. However, if you decide at some point that you want to put two trains on that track, that's when you run into trouble. So here we have automatically there's a crash already, so let's go fix that. Alright, you go back. Over there, and we'll stop that one from moving, okay, and we'll let the other one continue to run. Now, this is how you signal these things, guys. You'll use chain signals and regular signals. <clears throat> chain, all signals go on the right side of a train's forward momentum, and chain signals look ahead down the line to see what the next signal is doing, okay? So we're going to use a chain signal at the exit of each of these and we're going to add two chain signals here so that this indicates that this section of track is two-way traffic and only one train is allowed out there at a time and I want to make sure that the entire way is clear before the train runs. Okay, then we're going to take regular signals and we're going to place them here. That's the inbound lane. We use a regular, regular signal because that tells the train that it can proceed safely to its destination and since this is a dead end um, that's all we need is a regular signal there okay we're going to come over to this intersection here and we're going to put two chain signals here and two chain signals here to tell the trains that they can proceed past this junction safely we're going to tell the train as it exits that it needs to look at the signals ahead and we're going to tell the train as it enters it does not need to look ahead it is safe to proceed Okay, we're going to come over here to the other end and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to put two chain signals to let the trains know that this is two-way traffic. We're going to say you must look ahead by putting a chain signal there. And finally, we're going to put two rail signals to tell the trains it is safe to proceed. We're going to come down here and we're going to send the trains. And we'll see that everything will run smoothly. There won't be any crashes. And the thing is that uh, the reason we use these chain signals is to keep this these two lanes clear of traffic so that only one train can enter and run on that track at a time that way two trains will not head into each other all right so there you have it guys that is the fastest I could do that fast and simple and done so if you have any questions you can see some of my other videos where I go into more detail but I hope that this helps you, and please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please tell your friends that uh, this helped you a lot, and we will see you next time. I look forward to it. Bye.